Hi everyone, my name is Panfinet Buisa and I'm on the National Women's Rugby Sevens team. I'm currently in Dubai and I am so excited to talk to you today. Today we'll be learning about the fundamental movements used in the Summer Olympic sport, rugby. All right, so what is rugby? Rugby is a full contact sport that evolved from soccer. There's two different forms of rugby. There's union and sevens. In 2009, the International Olympic Committee voted to have both men and women's rugby sevens to be included in the 2016 Rio de Janeiro Olympic Games. The goal of rugby is to move the oval-shaped ball forward by running or kicking. Players may not pass the ball forward, they can move it sideways or backwards. Only the person with the ball can get tackled and only then must they release the ball and the play continues. Rugby is similar to football in some ways. The biggest difference is that the play does not stop as often as it does in football. Rugby is an action-packed game of running, passing, kicking, and catching. At the end of the lesson, you will learn the foundations of successful scoring in rugby by running the quickest pass to the angle area by carrying the ball in two hands and applying downward pressure to the ball to score. So the name of the activity is time for a try. So this is for grades four to six. And in terms of what you'll need in materials is a rugby ball or any small ball you may have. In terms of safety considerations, make sure you're in a large enough space where you can run around free, uh, like in any open space, like a gymnasium, a room, or a backyard. Today's activity is going to be broken down into two parts. During the first part, I'll be teaching you some proper techniques used in rugby. In the second part, we will apply our learnings into a game. Ready to get started? All right, so here we have a rugby ball and we're gonna learn how to hold it properly. You wanna make sure you have your hands, your fingers spread on the ball like this in the center of the ball, right? And then you wanna keep the ball when you're holding it in the center of your body. The reason why we wanna keep it at the center of our body is so that it's easier to pass and distribute the ball that way and you give yourself different options. Holding the ball like this makes it difficult to pass and then it won't spin properly. So hands like this, center of the ball, just like so at the center. And that's how you hold the rugby ball. Unlike football, the rugby ball must be rounded to score points. This involves the player to touch the ball to the ground once they're over the try line. If the ball is simply carried over or dropped over, no points are scored. Downward pressure must be applied to the ball to properly score. Now that you've learned some basic techniques, let's put what we've learned into practice. Get into your open space and identify what your start line will be and your end goal area. This is where you'll throw your try. This is my start line. And this will be the end goal area to get the try. So how you want to start? You want to make sure you get behind that start line. You want to make sure you run straight to the quickest way to get to that try line. Keep the ball in the center of your body, like so. And then when you get over that angle area, both hands on the ball, let's ground that, and then yell, try! And then you wanna get back and repeat. Ball in the center, forward. Try! All right, to make it a bit harder, what we'll do is we'll get behind the start line, we we'll put the ball around twice, and then keep going. One, Two, run forward, try, get back, same thing, one, two, get going, try. Now if that's too easy, let's take it up a notch. I'll hold the ball once again in the center, throw it up in the air, clap, catch it, and go again. Keep going, try, get back. And try. Let's just have some fun and try some different handling challenge before you go and I want to see what you can do. That's all I got. I want to thank you so much for joining me today and learning about my favorite sport rugby. Hope you had as much fun as I did. See ya!